Hi everybody, it's Chris Frame here and welcome to the Qantas Airbus A380. I flew on this aircraft in business class from London Heathrow to Singapore on QF2. Uh, and given that this interior is just about to be replaced by the new business suite, I thought it would be fun to show you what it's like to fly on the Qantas A380 using the Skybed. And so we get a bit of a view here of my seat, 12F, before or uh, well, during the boarding process. And when you're sitting in your seat, there's a huge amount of leg room. This allows the seat to fold into a fully flat bed, which is about two meters long. You can see this older generation seat. There's some shared amenities between the two seats, uh, such as the armrest there where they put the drinks. This is also a bit of a view of the menu that we had. There was a evening meal and then a morning meal the next day. ready to push back started to head off on our uh, journey 12 hours 39 minutes to uh, Singapore. On the flight deck uh, this evening, uh, first officer Mark O'Connor, second officer Sean Winkle and uh, second officer Joel Robertson will be uh, looking after your flying The aircraft pushed back on time and then we taxied out towards the runway for our departure from Heathrow. So as I mentioned, the seat folds into a fully flat bed, but there's also a whole heap of other options in the configuration of your seat, different recline options and preset positions. These seats also have a fold-out entertainment screen uh, that you access by pushing the TV button. And there's a divider between the two seats uh, as well for some extra privacy. Now, my uh, screen didn't really want to pop up uh, straight away, and so I just needed a little bit of uh, adjustment there before it uh, made itself available for television and movie viewing and it's adjustable there so you can get a good view the system has a handheld control but it's also fully touch screen and you can see some of the menu options and how the system operates now on the screen A large tray table also folds out from the center armrest console. It can be operated in both a half or full size table. Uh, so if you're having drinks or something small as each, you can still get in and out of your seat. The crew then dressed the table and prepared for the supper service. Uh, I opted for just a light meal with the soup uh, and it comes with the sourdough bread as well. Afterwards there was a dessert option and then it was time for some rest. After about six hours of sleep, uh, the aircraft was now flying in daylight time and uh, the cabin was kept dark until just before our arrival into Singapore. So just checking out uh, some of the other features of the seat. This is the handheld console that controls your entertainment system. It also has a keypad on the back. Uh, I've never used the keypad, uh, but I think it's to do with the games 
This is just a view out of the window on one of the aircraft doors. And you can see it's nice and sunny outside. And uh, this was an aircraft painted in the new Roo livery. Before landing in Singapore, there was a breakfast service offered. Interestingly enough, it's uh, mid-afternoon in Singapore by the time breakfast is offered, but it would be early morning in London. And so they do offer the breakfast after a night's sleep. And there was both cold and hot options. And you can see there what the uh, hot options, the scrambled eggs look like. Each business class passenger is also provided with an amenities kit before the aircraft takes off. And this is just a view of what's inside the amenities kit. Singapore. Uh, we made a uh, fairly good time uh, throughout our flight overnight and uh, current indications uh, have us touching down. Another feature on the Qantas A380 is a lounge at the front end of the upper deck. It's available for business class passengers. Uh, it has seating as well as a large TV screen and it will too be updated during the refurbishment where they put the new seats in the aircraft which is expected to start in mid-August. It didn't seem like very long until we were making our descent into Singapore. The A380 really is an extremely comfortable way to fly and I, like many others, were sad to hear that uh, Airbus will cancel production of the A380 after the current aircraft that are on order have been fulfilled. Uh, so this is the aircraft now at Singapore. It arrived at Singapore on time uh, and allowed me to then transfer across to another Qantas flight for my onward journey to Australia. This aircraft then went on to Sydney. There was an A380 flying down to Melbourne and several A330s operating to Brisbane and Perth. And so as we finish this video, we got a view of the Qantas A380 that I flew on QF2 as we make our way on an Airbus A330. So what do you think of the Qantas A380? Have you flown on it before? Uh, do you enjoy flying on the Airbus A380? And uh, what are your thoughts of the A380's production being cancelled uh, when the current orders are completed? Let me know in the comments below and thanks once again for watching. I hope to see you on board.